Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you are viewing this material and completing it. It's Mr. Serban, and today we are going to learn the second part of dividing polynomials, and actually will be the conclusion of our polynomial unit. Tomorrow we will start new material. It works with polynomials, but in a different standard. Today we are finishing up standard A.2b. Tomorrow we will start A.2c, but you do not need to worry about that right now. What we are going to do is divide polynomials by a binomial, which means we have two terms on the bottom as opposed to yesterday when we only had one. It's a little bit different method. It's sometimes a little bit quicker because you don't have to create all those fractions. But as long as you follow the same steps, it is the same process. You just repeat it each time. Let's go over our steps. We have three of them, and you can do one of them in a different order. I divide my first term by my first, my last term by my last, which means I divide the numbers, so 10 divided by 2 if they're the big numbers, and then subtract exponents. And then I do the same for the last, then I forget about this middle term on top. Basically, it just kind of goes away. This is the step right here that you can do out of order. You can do it last or you can do it first because it doesn't affect the problem. And I will demonstrate this as I go through our examples. Example 1. I'm going to do this in the order and then I will switch it up. First term by the first, I have 1x squared divided by 1x. That's my first term. So 1 divided by 1 gives me 1 x squared divided by x gives me 1x left over. Now I divide my last term, I'll use L instead of 2 because it's technically not the second term. I divide 30 by 6, and we do keep in mind the signs, positive 30, positive 6. So positive 30 divided by positive 6 gives me positive 5, and that right there is my answer. I forget about the middle term, or I kind of just scratch it out so I don't have to see it, because it doesn't affect my answer. Example 2. I'm going to use that last step, forgetting about the middle term first. I'm going to scratch it out, and I do recommend doing it this way, because if you don't, you might forget and then still divide the last term by that one. So I have my first term on each. 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. x squared, I have two of them up here. I have 1 down here, gives me 1x left over. And then I have positive 4 divided by positive 1, giving me positive 4. And that is my final answer, so my last by my last. Now keep in mind things like this 1 does not need to be there. If you put that 1 there, it will be counted correct. If you don't put the 1, it will be counted correct as long as it is, it, as long as it is a 1 next to x. Same with this little 1 up here as the exponent. If that 1 is not there, it is implied that it has an exponent of 1. But, as I wrote it, I will leave those there. Moving on. I divide my first term by my first in example 3. So I have x squared divided by x, which gives me 1x1, or just simply x. And then I do negative 20 divided by negative 5. So this is first, first, last, last. And since they're both negatives, a negative divided by a negative gives me a positive, and I have x plus 4. And scratch out that middle term just to remind myself I don't use it. And that will be my final answer as x plus 4. Example 4 looks a little different. Up here, 1, 2, 3 terms. Over here, 1, 2, 3 terms. Example 3 was 1, 2, 3 terms. Here I only have 1, 2, which means I don't have to do anything with the middle term because there is none. So I divide my first, oh, my first term by my first, and my second or last term by my last. x squared divided by x gives me x. Negative 16 
divided by a positive 4, a negative divided by a positive gives me a negative. So I have 16 divided by 4 is 4, and it is negative based off the signs. And that is my final answer. Now if you put 1x1 1 minus 4, that is also correct. Those 1s are implied on my answer above, so it is okay if you put the ones there, or if you don't, it is up to you. Now, if you noticed, all of my answers had a one in front of the x. Here, here, and then here, and here. There are answers you will get that don't have it, so let me go over two more on your actual work. So number one, I have 45, which is my first. 45v squared divided by 9v, because those are both my first. 45 divided by 9 gives me 5. v squared divided by v gives me 1v. I then divide my last by my last, which is positive 12, divided by positive 4, which gives me positive 3. And that is my answer. I can scribble out my middle term, and I don't have to worry about it. As one more example, because you need to make sure you're careful with your signs, I'm going to do number two, where I scratch out the middle term first, and then I divide my first by my first. 10 divided by 10 gives me 1. m squared divided by m gives me m, m to the first, or just simply m. And then I have positive 24 divided by negative 3. Positive divided by negative is a negative. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So 1m minus 8 is my answer. Please make sure that you are completing all the work. On this one, you only have to complete 12 problems, and yes, 1 and 2 will be included in those 12, so if you use those answers, make sure that you are staying up to date. If you are falling behind, need additional help, um, just need to let me know to check in then feel free to email me if you haven't, or send me a private comment on Google Classroom. I read those every time they come in, so I quit, I'm very quick to respond. I hope you are all staying healthy, staying safe in this time. Um, and that is all for today. We will move on to a new unit tomorrow, and I will see you then.